I downloaded a another ISO here called uh, CentOS, and this is the minimal uh, edition of CentOS, and this is a Linux-like operating system. It's uh, based on Red Hat Enterprise, and the minimal version obviously doesn't have a lot of features in it, uh, yeah, but I wanted to show you how to set it up. I'll show you how I got it. We'll go to... Uh, I believe it's centos.org and I did a download from the mirror hmm. and I don't see it there Argon well let's see what Argon has and I got the most current version 6.4 and I went into the ISO I went into the, I believe it's 64-bit, and I grabbed a minimal version here. Actually, no, it's not the 64-bit, it's the 32-bit. So I went into the uh, Intel 386-like, and I uh, downloaded the uh, ISO, the minimal ISO here. Let's inst let's create a uh, another virtual machine and we'll install this new ISO into the virtual machine. So I'm going to run the Hyper-V manager. Double click on that. Right mouse button click here and do new virtual machine. Walk our way through the wizard again. I want to put this in a different location. I want to put it on my H drive. And we'll make a directory for it. Oops, not where I wanted to put it. New folder. And we'll select the folder. And we'll go next. Uh, how much memory do we want to give it? I'll give it... Uh, one point five gig. And then we'll set it to be uh, dynamic. Actually, let's make that two. 20. Configure networking. We'll have it use the ethernet that we set up earlier. Uh, how much disk space do we want to give it? Uh, I think 40 gigs, more than enough. And now we want to install it from the ISO. So we're going to browse to the desktop. Look for the CentOS ISO, select that, choose open, and uh, then we'll hit a finish here. And then we can run it, which will install it, so we connect to it. And we start it, and now it'll start reading that. We're going to this time choose install system with basic video driver. So this will take a couple of seconds to go through. Take a little bit longer when it's looking at the hardware because the hardware on the computer is uh, quite a bit newer. While that's installing, okay, let's see. To begin testing the media, we're just going to skip that. So we're going to do a tab. It's a little bit big here, English, U.S. English. Uh, basic storage, probably good enough for us. Uh, the virtual drive is fine.
so that's uh, certainly not a problem. Uh, we can discard any data because it's a brand new drive. Uh, it's asking us for a domain name. Uh, again, we can get really tricky and we can buy our own domain name and then we can uh, set that up. But I'm just going to accept the uh, local host name there. Time zone. Now we're going to look for uh, America Central or America Chicago or... Wait, there's a map. Maybe we can choose on the map where we want to be. Indiana. Hmm. Oops. Chicago there. Indianapolis. Oh, we're getting closer. Chicago. Yay. <laughs> Ah, look, there was a zoom in. We could have zoomed in and probably found Chicago easier. Right there. Okay. I have to resize the screen here because I'm recording this at a lower resolution. Uh, root password. I'll just use my password that I always use. And we'll confirm that. Uh, use anyways. Okay, swell. That was kind of cute. It told me that I have a weak password. And we can use all the space. Uh, this probably is fine. Guess I'm going to use all the space. Why not? Uh, write the changes. Everything will be lost. Oh my goodness. You don't really have to worry because it's not writing to your hard drive. It's just writing to the virtual disk. So the virtual disk is just a file. And uh, So now it's installing itself. Kind of interesting here, you can see how big they are, 107 meg, and it's uh, 13 out of 198. So I'm going to pause the video recorder, and we'll come back to this uh, after a while. No, it seems like it's going faster, though. I'll still pause the video recorder. Okay, now it's uh, done installing. Only took a couple of seconds there, actually. Probably about uh, 45 more seconds. Must be configuring itself. So I guess that's what CentOS stands for. Community Enterprise Operating System. As I was watching it install, it's installing a lot of cool things. So it uh, might be a small version, but it still has a lot of features on it. And there you go. Congratulations. Setup was complete. Now it more than likely needs to reboot. So it's going to reboot our virtual machine here. So far, this is the coolest uh, Unix operating system we've installed. And it's um, and it's an enterprise license, but it's also the smallest version too. This is the uh, this is the minimal installation of this operating system. So it's booting itself up. So this is like Red Hat 
Enterprise uh, when it comes up and you can play around with it in a virtual window and see see what all these different operating systems are be cool if you could run like uh, Mac OS 10 which really is just Unix uh, different user interface so we can log in probably have to log in as root and uh, password and there we go Looks kind of boring to you guys, I'm sure, but uh, this is Unix. Uh, LS is listing. So there are some of the applications that are uh, installed and in pretty much everything I'm familiar with, but you can go around and play with, play around with these. And uh, basically, that's uh, uh, CentOS, and this is the minimal installation. So, again, there are a lot of other things that you can install with this. Uh, I'm going to stop this, or I'll, we'll shut it down.